we? 29, 29 and a half. I already know it was already. Sixty-two wide. Sixty-two wide. Jada. Covered is got to be five feet, five feet wide, and this is uh, about five foot six in width. And the other thing is because it's not absolutely. These beams, I don't want to call them beams, they're going to sit on that shelf. They didn't make them exactly square with the table. They're like a, a quarter, quarter inch off. So unfortunately when I go to slide it, slide it in, the table is going to cock the distance that these beams are off so now I've got to make up the slack unfortunately I'm going to lose the going to lose the edge it's going to have to go straight you're going to, we're going to have a straight edge on here but what I got to do is I got to take up because I got to cut it anyway I'm going to cut it on both sides so that I can square up the bolt uh, square this up when it goes against the wall so that's that's the next trick so I got that set five feet wide and because this side here is longer coming from there to there by this uh, um, it's gonna have to come when it goes in it's got to be cut so it's level this way which means I got to come at an angle, come at an angle this way, so it'll fit in there. And then, so it's going to be an angle this way, and it's going to be an angle that way. So I'm going to go from here to here, where with this side, it's got to be from here to here. So I got to cut it at an angle that way. And then I got to cut it an angle that way. Yeah. Cut an angle in, cut an angle out. So once it goes in, no, angle, yeah, angle out. And then, so I have two inches. I got two inches to deal with it. So, with that said, I gotta come in and out from okay. Okay, so I sliced that, sliced that one off. Now I'm gonna slice this one off. And boy, oh, I can't 
cannot get up here. I'm sure this thing is up before I start. set that where I needed it. It didn't be all the way down like it was. Ugh. Now, I'm barely getting through the table to get just a little bit more. Don't want, don't need it so deep. It's going to be close enough, I think. Okay. Now. Freaking line. Just did that. You. All right. I may have to cut it again anyway. But anyway. It would have been nice had when they built the table, they made everything true. I don't want to have to try and make up for the difference. Alright, and as you see, I use the, actually use the leaf to do the, to make my uh, straight, straight edge. Alright, so that's that. Do a quick, a little quick measurement here, make sure. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't right. Threw that one away. I know it's going five. And, no, it's just a little five. Yep, took off. <laughs> there. And it's not exactly five there either. Huh. Five and a quarter. Mm. I 
way out of five. May have to may have to line it, straighten them up again. Maybe we'll, if I can correct it with the loop, and it's going to go that way. I am not a. I am definitely not an expert with a freaking circular saw. Never have, never will be. Uh, so, with that said, I think I'm done for the day. Oh. I'm freaking lousy cut there. I actually got a line right there, but that ain't, ain't it. So it's a little more than five. So hopefully when it, when it goes in, it'll slide in an angle. We'll have to see tomorrow. I shall set that up so I can get in and do it. But there you go. It's a start. It'll make a good, it's going to make a good table. <sighs> I can plane, I can plane the edges. And then I can plane the back. I can do, I can put wood, wood filler in there, square it off. And again, plane this off and then get the same, get the same stain. I think that's probably, I don't either redwood or oak or something and then uh, make it make it look a little more professional so. anyway thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe and definitely share and thanks again for following